All right, guys, looks like I've stepped away from the Tiger River and it's cut back into the woods here. A green section, kind of green, kind of brown type deal. Oh wow, look at the frogs. Isn't that cool? Little spotted frogs. Forgive me guys, I'm waving my stick out here. <clears throat> it's a nice little shaded area. Little pebble stone area here. Nice little green ferns. All right, let me take some pictures, guys. All right, y'all. About a mile and a half. Mile and three quarters. Well, actually, a mile and a quarter. A little over a mile and a quarter. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of. Get the coloration change of leaves. Nice time of the year to be hiking. And I see daylight up here, but I don't know if that's parking lot daylight or what. Yeah, so the elevation's a little high. Um, nothing major. <clears throat> right, right now I'm at 442 feet. So I'm relatively close to, well, we call four, 442 feet relatively close to sea level. I'm closer to sea level than I normally would be. <clears throat> yeah, that's about average, I guess. One of those beautiful purple flowers. This is taking me a little longer. I probably could have blew past this trail, but you know me. Your boy Extreme got to stop and take pictures and video, and it's all kind of momentums for this trail. Tiger River was real nice. Basically an uphill battle now. Looks like we uh, just kind of open up out here. Yep. And just follows a pathway right on out. Across this field. Cool. Hi right, guys. Let me take some photos. I'll be right back with you. Uh, 
All right, guys. So I can know I'm on the right trail here. As you can see, the markers on the trees. I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful out here. It's an open field. There's some more markers right there. There's another one. Beautiful out here, man. Absolutely beautiful. Big ant pile. This goes back out to the parking lot. It looks like it goes back in this way, but That looks like an open portion there. Let's uh, let's go and hit that before we head back on the trail. See what this is. Uh, that may be where the road keeps going. That they were talking about earlier. This may be the battle area here, or one of the special battle areas. And they cut a path out here for me to get here from up there. So don't think I'm trespassing because I'm not. Or I'm going off the trail. So this is actually a big circle. I've seen this on Google before. And if you follow that road, that road should probably lead me back to the... Uh, back to the uh, car. But it's just a big cul-de-sac, really. I mean, that's just beautiful out there, guys. I wouldn't mind having a house out here. It's quiet. Nothing out here. And I'm going to do this video, but then I'm going to take some photographs of this area. Just a big cul-de-sac with a stone here in the middle. It's a dried up centipede or something there. He didn't make it. So let's see what this is. Just a big stone out here in the middle of nowhere. Got some writing on the other side maybe. Yep, it does. November 20th, 1780. Near this spot was fought the Battle of Blackstock. That is memorable right there, guys. Very nice. Just kind of check out my view circling me here. I mean, it is beautiful out here. Beautiful out here, guys. Nice, pretty purple flower. Very well grown flower. A little bit of historic history there. Battle of Blackstock. Like I said, this is just a big old cul de sac.
Not a bad place to take a break, I can tell you that much. Sounds like a good idea to me. Little tiny pine cone. Alright guys, yeah, it's just a big cul-de-sac. This is where the battle near this spot was where the battle was actually at. Where it took place, so. Alright guys. I'm going to break here. And then head back up the beaten path. Back onto the trail and back to the car. And that will be concluding my trip, dude. Wasn't that bad at all. Only took me maybe about an hour and a half. Maybe two hour trip. Two hour drive. Eh, I call it worth it. It's your boy Extreme Catfishing, man. And I'm deuces. Guys, what's up? Boy Extreme Catfish, I'm taking the second break out here. I'm actually sitting, and I'll show you. There it is, right there. The very spot that the Battle of Blackstock was fought, near this very spot. So, your boy is sitting in some history right now. <clears throat> Don't you wish you were here? I mean, actually, guys, on, on the real. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful out here. It is really, really nice out here. Nice feel, breeze blowing. I mean, it may be 90 plus, excuse me, degrees out here, but it is still a breeze blowing. It's just really nice out here. <clears throat> Can probably come out here to picnic. I'm telling you, it's really nice. It's a nice little mile and a half hike to get out here to this point. And then you just come out here and kind of spend the day out here. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Matter of fact, I see some hammock trees. I'm going to throw a hammock up out here in a little bit, guys. All right. See y'all boys in a bit. Uh, just wanted to let you know, man, your boys, your boy doing his thing. Your boy extreme catfishing, man. And I'll see y'all in the hammock in a bit. <clears throat> Hi right, guys, Bug Stream Catfishing. As you can see, I didn't waste no time. Got the hammock up. <clears throat> Tested it earlier. I am in the spot where the Battle of B uh, Blackstock took. And I'm going to take a well deserved rest for some of the soldiers out here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get in this hammock. It's only like 1 30 ish. Get in the hammock. Wax a little bit. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure it's sturdy-ish. It is. I'm gonna tilt the lay back here. Oh yeah, whoops, glasses, I don't want to break those out here. There we go guys. Whew. Resting out here, I'll probably lay out here for a little bit and then get back on the trail. love this man I'm in the shade under the trees nice breeze out of the Sun you can't beat this man there's not too many things on this planet that's better than this as far as relaxing this things already ready to put me to sleep good distance from the ground so well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a couple of shut eye Relax a little and uh, I'll see y'all boys in a bit, man. It's your boy Extreme Catfish, dude.